today I would like uh, to share the, uh, the word of God. Leo ningependa kushiriki neno la Mungu. Uh, with the help uh, with with the with the title na mada help like no other msaada kama ambapo msaada ambao help like no other msaada usiolinganishwa and i remember during covid nakumbuka wakati wa covid when things were too were very tough wakati mambo yalikuwa ni magumu sana and uh, at that particular time only bishop who could come here and preach uh, uh, with just about 15 people na wakati huo ni askofu alikuja mahali hapa kuhubiri na watu kama 15 hivi And I remember his first sermon was based from Psalms 121. Nakumbuka mahubiri yake yalikuwa katika Zaburi 121. And uh, in that Psalm, na katika Zaburi hiyo, I remember he preached and he mentioned about three things that God was going to do to us. Alihubiri mambo matatu ambayo Mungu alikwenda kutenda kwa ajili yetu. That even during that uh, difficult time that God was going to preserve us. Ya kwamba wakati huo mgumu Mungu alikuwa anaenda kututunza. That God was going to protect us. Ya kwamba angetulinda. God was going to provide for us. Mungu alikuwa anaenda kutupeania. But myself I also included another one. That God was to bless us with his peace. And indeed I saw that coming forth and if that's why today we are all here. Because God was able to preserve us, to protect us, to provide for us and to bless us with his peace. And I remember his message was help is on the way. And I would like us to read just uh, uh, Psalms 121 verse 1 and 2. Tusome Zaburi 121 mstari wa kwanza hadi wa pili. And uh, and the word of God says that I lift up my eyes to the mountains where does my help come from? Verse 2 My help comes from the Lord the maker of heaven and earth. And even today as we, during the time of praise and worship wakati tulikuwa tunasifu na kumwabudu there is a song that was we were read that msaada wangu wa karibu tulikuwa tunamwambia msaada wetu wa karibu because indeed he is an ever present help ya kwamba yeye ni msaada ambao upo kila wakati and one time the israelites found themselves in a very difficult situation na siku moja waisraeli kajipata katika hali ngumu uh, where, uh, where they were threatened by the philistines ya kwamba waliogopishwa na wafilisti And there are powerful words that I would like us we share. In 1 Samuel chapter 7 verse 7 to 13. Kwa Samueli wa kwanza lango wa 7. And and the word of God says that now, now when the Philistines heard that the Israelites had gathered at, at Mispah, the lords that governors of the Philistines went up against Israel. And when the Israelites heard it, they were afraid of the Philistines. And the sons of Israel said to uh, to Samuel And this is the key verse that do not cease to cry out to the Lord for us so that he may save us from the hand of the Philistines. So there we can see that the Israelites knew who their help was even in that uh, uh, particular time. Wazelo alijua msaada wao unatoka wapi hata wakati kama ule. And in verse 9 it says so Samuel took a nursing ram and offered it as a whole burnt offering to the Lord and Samuel cried out to the Lord of Israel and the Lord answered him. As Samuel was offering up the burnt offering, the Philistines approached for battle against Israel. Then the Lord thundered with a loud vo- a great voice that day against the Philistines and threw them into confusion, and they were defeated and freed before Israel. As the men of Israel came out of Mispah and pursued the Philistines and struck them down as far as the territory below be- uh, Bethka, then Samuel took a stone and set it between Mispah and Shen and named it Ebenezer stone of help Ebenezer stone of help saying thus far the lord has helped us so the philistines were subdued and they did not come any more into israel territory and the hand of the lord was against the, uh, the philistines all the days of samuel So even us this year hata sisi mwaka huu we are in the 10th month we have just begun the 10th month tuko katika mwezi wa 10 tumeanza tu when we look back for the last 9 months ukiangalia miezi tisa ambayo imepita the lord has been with us mungu amekuwa pamoja nasi so today we can say that indeed he has been in ebenezer in our lives tunasema amekuwa ebenezer katika maisha yetu he has been the stone, uh, our stone of help ilimekuwa ni jiwe la msaada because we can say that it's him that has brought us this far tunasema ni yeye ametuleta umbali huu and even in uh, the israelites in isaiah 43 verse 10 hata waisraeli katika isaiah 43 mstari wa 10 god god declared and said mungu akaamrisha akasema 
that before me there was no other god lakini mbele yangu hakutakuwa na mungu mwingine even now there is no other hata sasa hakuna mwingine and after after me there is no other savior na baada ya mimi hakuna mwokozi mwingine and he continued to remind them anaendelea kuwakumbusha that it's me and also some foreign god among you that had given you vic- had, had brought you this farm ya kwamba ni mungu ni mimi mungu ambaye nimewaleta umbali huu even for us we know that it's god who has given us victory this farm hata sisi tunajua ni mungu ambaye alipatia ushindi umbali huu and for that we want to give god all the glory na kwa hivyo tunampatia utukufu I I believe that we can all attest that is the Lord who has brought us this far. Unajua kwamba ni Mungu ambaye ametuleta umbali huu. Another time in 2 Chronicles chapter 32 verse 6 to 8, kumamba ya nyakati mara wa pili, a time came wakati ulifikia and the king of Assyria and his vast army, mfalme wa Assyria na jeshi lake, they were threatening uh, uh, king Hezekiah. Walikuwa wanamshtua mfalme Hezekiah. And the, the, the army of the Israelites were traveling with fear. Na jeshi la Israeli liko limeogopa na nilikuwa na uoga. But there are, there are those uh, th- these words that were, were a great encouragement in 2 Chronicles chapter 32 verse 6 and 8. Lakini kulikuwa na mambo ya tumaini ambayo yalinenwa that was spoken uh, 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 that was spoken by King Hezekiah. Ambaye anenwa na mfalme Hezekiah. And this, uh, he, uh, the word of God says that he appointed military officers over the people and assembled them before him in the square at the city gate and encouraged them with these words. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or be discouraged because of the king of Assyria and the vast army with him. So even for us uh, before we proceed, kabla tuendelee, my encouragement to us this morning, himizo langu kwetu asubuhi ya leo, despite the situation that you are passing through, haijalishi ni hali gani unapitia, be strong and courageous kuwa mwenye nguvu na mna usiasie na uoga do not be dis- uh, do not be afraid or be discouraged because of your situation ya kwamba usifadhaike kwa sababu ya hali yako for there is a greater power with us kwa sababu kuna nguvu kuu ndani yetu Uh, uh, than with him that was in the case but even now we have a greater power with us hata sisi tuko na nguvu ina uweza let's see verse 8 with him is only the arm of fresh but with us is the lord our god to help us and to fight our battles and the people gained confidence from what uh, Hezekiah the king of Judah said even for for us the, the Lord our God is is with us to help us and to fight our battles hata sisi Mungu bwana wetu yuko pamoja nasi kutupigania vita vyetu it doesn't matter the battles that we are fighting haijalishi ni vita gani tunapigana But the Lord our God is there to help us and to fight our battles. Lakini Mungu baba yetu yuko pamoja nasi kutupigania vita vyetu. And in your own time you read from verse uh, 20 to 22. Kwa wakati wako utasoma mstari wa 20 hadi 22. And you see how the great victory that God gave the Israelites. Na utaona ushindi mkubwa ambao Mungu aliipatia wana wa Israeli. Even as he sent the angel. Hata alipotuma malaika wake. And uh, the, the next scripture uh, in the introduction is Isaiah 41 verse 10 to 16 in the uh, NLT. Uh, in this Psalm 41 in this psalm 41 katika, uh, in this isaiah 41 sorry katika isaiah 41 in some versions it have a subheading kwa wengine kuna, kuna mada fulani the, the helper of israel ya kwamba msaada wa israeli and in the new living translation it says that god's help for israel kwa katika tafsiri hiyo inasema ni msaada mungu ni msaada wa israeli and i would like we read these six verses and uh, and the word of god says don't be afraid for i am with you do not be discouraged for i am your god i'll strengthen you and help you I'll hold you up with my victorious right hand. See all your angry enemies right there, confused and humiliated. Anyone who opposes you will die and come to nothing. You will look in vain for those who try to conquer you. Those who attack you will come to nothing. For I hold you by your right hand. I the Lord your God and I say to you, don't be afraid. I'm here to help you though you are a rory worm and i like this verse because uh, that beginning part of this you god calls the israelites uh, you a rory worm so like us when i say it in our greek uh, uh, that katapira the a rory worm that's the way i understand it yeah? so let's continue you rory worm and we are going to see the essence of that uh, though you are a rory worm o oh jacob Don't be afraid people of Israel for I will help you I'm the Lord your redeemer I'm the holy one of Israel And now you see from Arori Arori worm 
which shows a lot of helplessness. But when God's help come now from verse 15 and 16, we can see an imaginable transformation that comes forth. And in verse 15 says that you will be a new threshing instrument with, with many sharp teeth. You will tear your enemies apart, making chaff of mountains. You will, will toss them into the air and the wind will blow them all away. A, wind, a, a whirlwind will scatter them. Then you will rejoice in the Lord. You will glory in the Holy One of Israel. So even this morning, may that be our story. That the help, when the help of the Lord comes, good and great things are going to happen in our lives. And He will be our glory. And uh, uh, the, the Word of God in Acts 10 38 reminds us that when Jesus Christ was in, in, in this world, that how God anointed Him. And wherever he went, he did good. He healed the sick and even, uh, 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 even the delivered them that were possessed. Jesus is the same yesterday and today. So even today, he's doing good. And uh, in the next few minutes, I would like we look at why God's help is like no other. Why God's help is like no other. And uh, there are five things that uh, I, 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 I have been able to pick for that few, few months. And the first one is that protocols are bypassed. <laughs> protocols are bypassed. And uh, the best story that we have uh, is in John chapter 5, verse 1 to 9. Verse 1 to 9. And this was about the man who had been in the pool for 38 years. Uh, and the word of God says that afterward, Jesus returned to Jerusalem for one of the Jews' religious holidays. Inside the city, near the ship gate, was Bethsaida pool with five covered platform or porches surrounding it. Uh, crowds of sick folks, rain, blind, or with paralyzed ribs, lay on the platform, waiting for a certain movement in the water, up to verse 9. Up to verse 9. For an angel of, of the Lord came from time to time and disturbed the water, and the first person to step down uh, into it afterwards was healed. One of the men lying there had been sick for 38 years. When Jesus saw him and knew how wrong he had been ill, he asked him, would you like to get well? So uh, before we proceed in that verse 6, Jesus knew uh, how wrong that person has been there. He had been there for that eight, uh, that eight years. Even us in our diverse situations, Jesus knows the durations that have been there. But his word declares that wisdom and power belongs to him. He changes times and seasons. So, and uh, Jesus asks, would you like to get well? Verse 7, up to, I can't, the sick man said, for I have no one to help me. So, in that, you can see that this man uh, believed that uh, he, he, he was expecting a man to come and help out. For I have no one to help me into the pool at the movement of water. While I am trying to get there, someone else always gets in ahead of me. Jesus told him, stand up, roll up your sleeping mat and go on, go on home. Instantly, the man was healed. He rolled up the mat and began walking. But it was on the Sabbath when this miracle was done. So here we see a, a situation whereby that this, this person was expecting for a man. And it was known that at a particular time the angel of the Lord could come and stir the water. And whoever had someone to, to throw them in in the pool was thrown there. 
was thrown and was healed. But as we see that Jesus did not, it didn't matter that the man has been there for 38 years. It's important we know that protocols, when, when the help of God comes, protocols are by, are bypassed. And we all know about the story of Sarah. Sarah. Sarah was past menopause. She, she was advanced in age. But that did not hinder God from, uh, from, from causing her to bear a child. And in fact, uh, the promise uh, uh, in, uh, in Genesis 18, he had when, uh, uh, when it was said that he, she was to get a child. And uh, there was this question, is there anything too hard for, for, uh, for the Lord? And then we are, we, we are able to see later in Genesis 21 where the, by, now Sarah was opening her mouth and was marveling at what God had done. Because God had been able to reverse the biological cycle. And what is unique is in, verse, uh, in chapter 20 that Abraham and Sarah were able to go in the land of Gera. And, and the king uh, saw, saw how, how Sarah was, uh, was so, so, so beautiful and wanted to take her as, as a, uh, 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 um, to take her. But that did not happen. So the, so the first thing is that when God's help, help with, with God's help, protocols are bypassed. And me, I remember one time, uh, 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 there was a job that I was doing, and I was given several awards uh, uh, for, for almost uh, two, two and a half years. Awards for two and a half years. But every time I could be given increment, but I was not given uh, a promotion. And I thought that I had been bypassed. And because you could be given increment uh, from 1st of April, even if I had been given a very good, uh, a, a good increase, I was so dejected. But in the month of July, we were given what is called of psycho increment. Of psycho increment. Of psycho increment. Increment ambaye hajapangiwa. Ile ambaye hajapangiwa. That was not given to everybody but one but was given for uh, to very specific people. But the promotion that I was waiting came in the month of September. And then I thought that was there, uh, that was it, and now I knew now I have to go back to school so that now I could be able to go uh, uh, to get the next increment, uh, the, the next promotion. But who is like our God? Five months later, in the month of February, I was given another, another promotion. So I, 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 was, I was thrown into a project, project plan. but I did not know that I was going where my boss was supposed to get in. So me I was going because uh, that is expected of me. But I can tell you that protocols were bypassed. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. The next thing when God's help comes, the unimaginable happen. And we saw uh, uh, that word of God from, uh, from, from, from Isaiah 41. Uh, verse 14 to 15. That, that though you are already warm, O Jacob, don't be afraid, people of Israel. For I will help you. I'm the Lord, your Redeemer. I'm the Holy One of Israel. You will be a new threshing instrument with many sharp teeth. You, you tear your enemies apart, making chaff of mountains. So you can see uh, the unimaginable uh, was to uh, happen. 
and again in Exodus uh, Exodus chapter 14 verse 23 to 25 kutoka 23 hadi 14 Exodus 14 23 yeah so let's see this so when uh, the Egyptians pursued and went after them into the midst of the sea all Pharaoh's horses his chariots and his horsemen now it came to pass in the morning watch that the Lord looked down upon the army of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and cloud and he troubled the army of Egyptians and he took off their chariot wheels so they drove them into difficult and the Egyptians says let let us free from the face of Israel for the Lord fights for them against the Egyptians so you can see Here God even removed the, the wheels of the chariots. Hata Mungu akatoa haya magurudumu ya ya ile magari yao. So the unimaginable happened. Mambo ambayo sio haikutarajiwa ikafanyika. And that's why we encouraged by the word of God in Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Nipote unahimizwa neno la Mungu katika Yeremia 33 mstari wa 3. That call to me and I'll answer you. Ya kwamba niiteni mimi na nitakujibu. And, uh, and tell you great and unsearchable things. Na nitawaambia mambo makubwa ambayo hayameficha. That you do not know. Ambayo hamkufahamu. And I remember last year pita, just before the elections kabla ya kura uh, the then deputy president now who is the president came here wakati huo ambaye alikuwa naibu rais ambaye sasa ni rais alikuja mahali hapa and he, there was no appointment so it was at very short notice na hakuwa na mwaliko wote yeye alipitia tu and now some of the readers and the pastors were able to take care of him na wachungaji na viongozi kadhaa wakaweza kumshughulikia but that through that visit katika ile matembezi yake the unimaginable happened mambo sio ya kawaida yakatendeka one of our of, of our pastors uh, who is uh, one of our pastors mmoja wapo wa wachungaji wetu and we were serving with him in this ministry team tulikuwa tunafanya naye kazi hapa uh so uh, he had taken his documents for approval in one of the counties neighboring uh, our county alikuwa amepeleka nakala zake ile apaiwe thibitisho fulani and they were supposed to be approved by the top planner ilikuwa idhibitishwe na yule ambaye alikuwa ni wajuu but where, even after they have paid the bank uh, what is required hata baba walikuwa washafanya malipo kila ambacho kinahitajika this top planner wanted a bribe yule ambaye alikuwa amesimamia akataka apewe kitu and and the architect could tell him that this is uh, uh, these are for a man of god na yeye akasema hii ni ya mtu wa mungu and uh, that top planner was telling him, even pastors here usually bribe hata hapa wachungaji pia wanatoa kitu But the pastor confessed and declared na mchungaji akakiri akasema mine will be the first one yangu itakuwa ya kwanza that you will be able to approve without uh, will be able to approve without any bribe ya kwamba utadhibitisha bila kuwa na mambo yote so the pastor and, and the architect had planned to go on tuesday na alipanga kwenda pale siku ya tuesday jumaine jumaine sorry yeah so they were able to go with the architect wakaenda pamoja na yule mchoraji and uh, when they went walipoenda so that top planner asked the pastor wila ambaye alikuwa amesomea kauliza mchungaji you mean you are the people who hosted uh, the dp yesterday je ninyi ambao ndio mlikuwa na pamoja na naibu rais jana he said yes akasema ndio and the pastor got into his phone because they had a selfie with uh, with the dp na mchungaji alikuwa akaingia katika simu yake kwa sababu alikuwa amepiga selfie na na naibu rais and the top planner so indeed it's him na wili ambaye alikuwa amesomea akaona kweli ni huyu and he was able to approve immediately na akadhibitisha saa hivyo hivyo and then in fact he thought that now his help was to come na akajua kwamba msaada wake unakaribia because there is a building that they had uh, uh, they had approved and had collapsed na kwamba kulikuwa na jumba ambalo walikuwa wamepeana udhibitisho lakini ilikuwa limefaili now he turned to the pastor akageukia mchungaji so how are you going to help me hmm? akamuuliza sasa utanisaidia namna gani because i'm in trouble kwa sababu niko katika shida fulani by faith the pastor told, told him everything will be okay na mchungaji akamwambia kila kitu kitakuwa sawa because he thought that they were very close with the dp akajua kama mchungaji alikuwa karibu na naibu rais so when god's help come msaada mungu unapokuja the unimaginable happen kila ambacho hakijafikiriwa kinatendeka may the unimaginable happen in your life wacha kila ambacho hakujafikiria kifanyike maishani mwako to the honor and to the praise of his holy name kwa utukufu wa jina lake ah uh, the third thing when god's help come cha tatu ambacho msaada wa mungu unapokuja uh, impossible becomes possible kila ambacho hakiwezekani kinawezekana and uh, uh, the, the story that i would like we read is uh, the one of for Lazarus in john uh, john 11 so habari za lazaro yohana 11 and uh, we, we read a few of them so uh, it says uh, on his arrival jesus found that Lazarus had already been uh, in the tomb for four days uh, now bethany was less than two, two miles uh, from jerusalem 
It's rained, but uh, let's read because I would like us to pick something. And many Jews had come to Mother uh, and Mary to comfort them in the loss of their brother. When Mother heard that Jesus was coming, she, uh, she went out to meet him, but Mary stayed at home. Lord, Mother said to Jesus, if you have been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Mother answered, I know he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. This is key. Jesus declared, because, he's a, uh, because he is the I am, he declared that Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they were dead. And, whatever, and whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Verse 27. Yes, Lord, she replied. I believe that you are Messiah, the Son of God, who is to come into this world. So here we see is that mother had a revelation of who Jesus was. My prayer for each one of us that even in our diverse, uh, um, um, in our diverse situations and circumstances, we may have the revelation of who our God is. Let's see verse 38 to 44. Verse 38 to 44. Uh, the word of God says that Jesus once more deep removed came to the tomb. It was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance. Take away the stone, he said. But Lord, said mother, the sister of the dead man, by this time there is a bad odor, for he has been there for four days. Then Jesus said, did I not tell you that if you believe, you see the glory of God? If you believe, you see the glory of God. So they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I, 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 and, I knew, uh, and I knew that you always hear me. But I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they may believe that you, you, you sent me. When he said, uh, he said this, Jesus called out uh, in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands uh, and feet wrapped with uh, uh, strips of linen and a cloth around his face. Jesus said to them, take off the grave clothes and let him go. So one thing that we need to know and what we can be able to pick from this scripture is that the I am determines the I can. The I am determines the I can. Because Jesus was the resurrection and the life, it didn't matter that Lazarus had been in the grave for four days. So you see, I am in your situation. Because God, when he was, when he was introducing himself uh, to Moses in Exodus 3 verse 6, he introduced himself and said, I'm God of your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But from verse 13, uh, Moses asked him, when I go and tell him that the God of your fathers have sent me, and they ask, uh, what, what is his name? What would I tell him? Tell and he said, I am who I am. He was not telling them, I was or I will be. So in our diverse situations, he remains the great I am. We can call on him. And we saw in that first Samuel chapter 7 verse 10. So how, how he came and thundered. And brought confusion uh, 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 in the camp of the Philistines. We need to know our God. And me, even when I have tried to talk to my children, even from when they were young, I've always tried to remind them that the God that we believe in, that is God the creator, who can make something out of nothing. So let's know that our, 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 our God can make something out of nothing. 
And uh, uh, the word of God in 2 Kings chapter 7 verse 1 and 2. This was uh, uh, when, when, when Samaria had been under, under siege. Wakati Samaria walikuwa wakatika vita. They had been under, under siege, they had been surrounded. Walikuwa mezingirua. And so they were rocked inside. Walikuwa mefungiwa ndani. Or what uh, popular is known, they were under siege. <coughs> walikuwa mefungiwa mahali. Yeah, so, and, and, and here, uh, because of the situation, uh, God used the four rapers. And uh, their, their feet were amplified. And the enemy thought that it was a huge uh, army that was coming. And uh, in that verse 1 and, and 2, uh, the, this is what the word of God said. Then Elisha said, uh, hear the word of the, of, of the Lord. That says the Lord, tomorrow, about this time, a measure of finely milled flour will serve for a shekel and two measures of uh, uh, barley for a shekel at the gate of Samaria. Then the royal officer on whose arm the king leaned answered the man of God and said, if the Lord should make windows uh, in heaven for, for the rain, could this thing take place? Elisha said, behold, you will see it with your own eyes, but because you doubt, you will not eat this. So we know that the economy of Samaria was turned within 24 hours. Because when God's help comes, the impossible becomes possible. And that's why I, I, I love Job 9 verse 10. The word of God declares that he performs wonders that cannot be fathomed. Miracle, miracles that cannot be counted. And me and I calling him God of limitless possibilities and miracle surprises that cannot be counted. Because he comes in a way that you, you cannot imagine. Uh, as I, I, I have been telling you that for uh, th th that like about one month have been, uh, uh, the, the issue of being helped and, and uh, uh, the one who fights our battles where I live there was one side which had cabro, but on our side there was no cabro. But one person, not, uh, not the government, but a person, decided to put cabro, uh, put uh, pavements, uh, uh, plant grasses, and everything. That uh, maybe the amount that had been spent is more than 7 million, almost 10 million. No committee was called. But somebody just thought about it. Just to defend a name. Just to defend a name. So, impossible. Uh, become, uh, when God's help comes, the impossible becomes possible. In my wildest dreams, I never thought something like that. And no bill is coming to us. No bill is coming to us. So for that, we give God all the glory. So the, the, the fourth thing, uh, when his help, come, uh, his, his help comes at an unexpected time, in an unexpected way, and with an unexpected blessing. That his help comes in an unexpected time, in an unexpected way, and with an unexpected blessing. And I would like us to read Mark 6, 45 to 52. Uh, and the word of God says that uh, Jesus immediately insisted that his disciples, this was after he, he had performed the miracle for uh, the fish and the bread. And fed, of, uh, uh, fed, fed multitudes. So Jesus immediately insisted that his disciples get into the boat and go ahead of him to the other side of Bethsaida. While he was dismissing the crowd, while he was dismissing the crowd, and after he said goodbye to them, he went to the mountain to pray. Now, when the evening had come, the boat was in the middle of the sea, and Jesus was alone in the ranch. Seeing the disciples straining at the, uh, at the oars, because the wind was against them, at about the fourth watch of the night, and there we have been reminded, uh, the fourth watch of the night is from 3, 3 a.m., to 6 a.m. He came to them 
walking on the water alikuja kwao akitembea juu ya maji walking on the sea akitembea juu ya maji and he acted as if he, he intended to pass them na akajifanya ni kama aliweza kuwapita but when they saw him walking on the sea walipomwona akitembea juu ya bahari they thought that it was a ghost wakadhani hiyo ilikuwa ni a ghost and cried out in horror na wakalia katika hofu for they all saw him and were shaken and terrified wote walimuona na wakatetemeka but he immediately spoke with them and said na punde tu akaongea nao na akasema take courage it's, it's i am wewe na ujasiri ni mimi stop being afraid msiwe na uoga then he got into the boat with them akaingia katika mashua pamoja na wao and the wind ceased as if exhausted na upepo ukatulie by its own activity na katika shughuli zake zote and they were complete, completely overwhelmed na wakashtuliwa sana because they had not understood the miracle of the roofs how it revealed the power and deity of Jesus but in fact their heart was hardened lakini mioyo yao bado ilikuwa ni migumu been oblivious and indifferent to these amazing works ambayo haikuwa inatarajia ama kufikiria ile ambayo kazi kuu ambayo alikuwa ameifanya My prayer is that for each one of us even as we continue to, uh, in the work of faith that we will get the revelation of who our God is and that, and that we will not, will not only know his acts but we will know his character knowing that he is unchanging his word in Isaiah 55 verse 8 and 9 Isaiah 55 The word of God says that for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Ya kwamba mawazo yangu sio mawazo yenu. Neither are your ways my ways. Na njia zenu sio njia zangu. They are far apart as heaven is to earth. Ziko mbali kama mbingu na nchi. So let's know that God is able to come through. Ya kwamba Mungu anaweza kuja. He doesn't have to come in the way that you are expecting him. Si lazima aje jinsi unavyofikiria. But we are expected to continue to wait on him. Lakini tunatarajia kwamba tuweze kumngojea. Because he comes at that unexpected time. Ya kwamba anakuja kwa wakati ambao haujatarajia. Like the way he came at that, that fourth watch of the night. Hapo alikuwa alikuja katika hiyo masaa ya usiku. When it was total uh, during that time is usually too dark. Wakati huo ni kuna giza kabisa. And sometimes help is not forthcoming. Na wakati huo msaada mara nyingi haupatikani. But he came at that unexpected time. Lakini alikuja wakati ambao haujatarajiwa. He came in an, an, an unexpected way. Na akakuja kwa njia ambayo haikuwa inatarajiwa. Because he came walking on, on, on the water that was, was, was troubling them. Ya, ya kwamba alikuwa anakuja akitembea juu ya bahari ambayo ilikuwa inawasumbua. And he came with an unexpected blessing. Na akakuja na baraka ambayo haikutarajiwa. Because when he came, ambapo alipokuja, he, he ministered peace to them. Na akawapatia amani. So God even in our diverse situations katika hali zetu za tofauti tofauti the word of God in Psalms 29 verse 11 declares 29 verse 11 Zaburi 29 mstari wa 11 the word of God says that he strengthens his people ya kwamba anawatia nguvu watu wake he blesses them with his peace anawabariki na amani yake so even when you are passing through stuff unapopitia hali ngumu that expect god to come in that unexpected way wacha tutarajie mungu atakuja katika ile njia ambayo haujatarajia at an unexpected time wakati ambao haujatarajia and with an unexpected blessing na baraka ambayo haujatarajia and finally na mwisho god when, when, when uh, with god's help na msaada wa mungu there are no limitations ya kwamba hakuna kupungukiwa there are no limitations hakuna kupungukiwa he is all knowing yeye ni yale ambaye anajua all powerful yule ambaye ni muweza They have a present God. Bila ambaye yupo kila wakati. He is God the creator who can make something out of nothing. Anaweza umba kitu pasipokuwa kitu. And uh, uh, in 2 Kings chapter 6:26-27, Wafalme wa pili mlango wa 6 mstari wa 26 hadi 27. Uh, uh, the word of God says that the king of Israel that is uh, Jehoram, Mfalme wa Israeli Jehoram was passing by on the city wall a, a woman cried out to him. Alikuwa akipita na akaona mwanamke akilia pale. Help my lord O king. Nisaidie e mfalme. And he said if the Lord does not help you Akasema bwana sipokusaidia where shall I get you help Je nitapata msaada wako wapi from the threshing floor or from the wine press Je kutoka pale kwa katika mapi ama kwenye kwenye mzabibu Even the situation in Samaria was so dire na ile hali pale ilikuwa ni sio sio mpoa that uh, that uh, when you, when you read on your own ukitaposoma kwa kwa wakati wako that uh, the, uh, that woman continued to say ule mwanamke anaendelea kusema that uh, yesterday we agreed with, with this woman that we eat my baby wakati huu tulikubaliana kwamba we eat ha, ha, oh, oh, tule 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 mwana wangu and today now it was at the turn now we eat the uh, 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 her, her baby na sasa leo ilikuwa ni hali tuweze tukule ule mwana mwingine but you have uh, but she has hidden her na kinisa memficha 
So the situation was that bad. Hali ilikuwa ni ile ngumu. But we know that later we are seen in chapter 7 how God was able to, uh, to, to, to turn the, the economy of Samaria within 24 hours. Jinsi Mungu alizabadilisha uchumi wa Samaria kwa masaa 24. Because there is no uh, no limitation uh, to our God. Kwa sababu na Mungu hakuna kupungukiwa kokote. In Psalms 147 verse 5 Zaburi 127 The word of God says that great is our God. Ya kwamba mkuu ni Mungu wetu. Exalted in power. Ameinuliwa katika nguvu. His understanding has no limit. Ufahamu wake hauna kipimo. So our understanding is limited. Ufahamu wetu una kipimo. But his understanding has no limit. Lakini ufahamu wa Mungu hauna kipimo. His understanding is unsearchable. Ya kuni ule ambao huwezi patikana kiurahisi. We need to know that our God is mighty to save. Ya kwamba yeye ni mkuu anaweza kusaidia. Mighty to deliver. Anaweza kukomboa. Mighty to sustain and to satisfy. Anaweza kuhifadhi na kushibisha. And very quickly uh, our drakers we just see the story, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we look uh, we look very briefly on how God was able to transform the life of Saul. Tunaangalia jinsi Mungu anaweza kubadilisha maisha ya Sauli. Saul was a persecutor of the church. Ye alikuwa na dhulumu kanisa. But after encountering Jesus on his way to Damascus, lakini alipokutana na Yesu katika njia yake kwenda Damascus, his life was transformed. Maisha yake yakabadilishwa and became very impactful to the glory of God. Na akakuwa mtu wa maana sana katika utukufu wa Mungu. Maybe I'll just quote for the benefit of time. Kwa sababu ya wakati in Acts chapter 7 verse 57 to 58, Matendo ya Mitume 7:56 hadi 58, 57 to 58, 57 hadi 58. That's why when Stephen was being stoned. Hapo ndipo wakati Stefano alikuwa anapigwa mawe. And Saul was there to witness that happening. Na Saul alikuwa pale akiona hiyo ikitendeka. And then in in Acts chapter because that those are the last verses hiyo ni vifungu vya mwisho mwisho then in, in in chapter 8 verse 1 to 3 the word of god said and Saul approved the hearing of him that is Stephen Sauli kwamba alihakikisha alitazama kifo cha Stefano on that day a great persecution broke out against the church in Jerusalem and all except apostles were scattered throughout Judah and Samaria God uh, God remain buried Stephen and mourned deeply for him. But Saul began to destroy the church going from house to house he dragged off both men and women and put them in in prison. But later in your own time you are going to look at Acts chapter 9 verse 1 uh, to 16. Baadaye utasoma matendo ya Mitume 9:1 hadi 16. And uh, how how uh, how Saul was able to have an encounter with Jesus. Jinsi Sauli aliweza kupatana na Yesu. The Jesus the one he was persecuting. Yule ambaye alikuwa anamdhulumu. And uh, uh, we, we, uh, from verse 6 uh, uh, so, so verse 5 uh, so, so, uh, so said who are you lord so so uh, so ask I'm Jesus whom you are persecuting he replied now get up and go into the city and you will be told what you must do. The men traveling with Saul stood there speechless they heard the sound but did not see anyone. Saul got up from the ground But when he opened his eyes he could not see nothing he could see nothing so they led him by the they led him by the hand into Damascus for three days he was uh, he was blind and did not eat or drink anything in Damascus there were a disciple named Ananias the lord called him in a vision Ananias you yes lord he answered the lord told him go to the house of Judas on the straight street and ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul for he is praying in a vision he has seen a man named Ananias come and place his hands on him to restore his sight lord ananias answered i've heard many reports about this man and all harm he has done for your holy people in jerusalem and uh, i think we can let's read now from there uh, and he uh, and he has come here with authority from the chief priest to arrest all who call on your name Verse 15 But the Lord said to Ananias Go this man is my chosen instrument to proclaim my name to the Gentiles and to their kings and to the people of Israel So uh, uh, verse 16 I'll show him how much he must suffer for my name We can see Nezaona there is no limitation to what God can do. Ya kwamba hakuna upungufu wa kile ambacho Mungu anaweza fanya. So we have just seen the picture of how Saul was a persecutor. Tunaona jinsi Saul alikuwa ambaye anadhulumu kanisa. But we know that indeed those last verses uh, from verse 14 and 16, mstari wa 
what God declared upon his life. Even this day, I don't know how your life has been. But God is able to change and transform your life. Only if you say yes to Jesus. Because he did not only change situations and circumstances. He transforms lives. Including mine and yours. So even this day you can choose Jesus to be your Lord and your Savior. And your life is going to, to have a turn around. If he was able to transform soul, who are you? He can be able to transform you. Because he's not limited in any way. And, and, and the word of God says that uh, uh, the, the, the purposes of man, uh, plans and purposes of man uh, uh, do not uh, usually fail. But his purposes uh, 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 endure through all generations. You can only align to his purposes when you walk with him as your Lord and your Savior. So this is a day that you can choose him to be your Lord and your Savior. And very shortly I'm going to give you that opportunity. So we have just seen that uh, indeed God's help is like no other. Because when his help comes, protocols are bypassed. Because uh, we, we, see, uh, we, so we know that man can fail. But our God can never fail. And that's why I love this song that says that I, ha I have a father who will never ever fail me. Jesus is my father. He'll never ever fail me. Rock of ages, he'll never ever fail. So he can be your father this day. Because he never fails. And the other thing we have seen that the unimaginable happen. We have seen how a worm was was, uh, uh, was was turned to a new threshing instrument with many sharp teeth. We have also seen that the impossible becomes possible. Because the I am always determines the I can. Because Jesus was the resurrection and the life. It didn't matter that Lazarus had been there for, for four days. And we have just seen that his help, uh, his help comes at an unexpected time. In an unexpected way. And with an unexpected breath. And we have finally we have seen that there are no limitations. When you surrender your life to Jesus. It was only after Paul had surrendered his life to Jesus that his life took a turn around. This day your life can have a turn around. I don't know if you are there and you'd like to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life. He changed and transformed lives. He did for Paul. He did for me and for many others. So are you there and you'd like to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life? You can lift your hand whether at the tent, in the overflow, inside here, down, or, or at the balcony. And we are going to see your hand and Jesus is going to come into your life. And that you will be our, your savior this day. And even your Lord. Are you there? So even if you are not, uh, if, if maybe you are shy to come at this particular time, you can talk to the readers, the pastors, and even the ushers because uh, uh, the, the ushers and you will be guided appropriately. And, and God is going to do good and great things. I would like we stand even as we pray. And maybe praise and worship can help me with this chorus that says, Ebenezer, Ebenezer. Ebenezer, what a wonder you are. I love you so, so much, Ebenezer. Ebenezer, what a wonder you are. Mighty Jesus, mighty Jesus. Mighty Jesus, what a wonder you are.
help that, that is like no other I don't know the situation that we are in but we have seen that when his help comes protocols are bypassed the unimaginable happen the impossible becomes possible his help comes in, in that unexpected time in an unexpected way and with an unexpected blessing and there is no limitation to what God can be able to do if you believe that uh, you can raise your hand even as you conclude in prayer if you are believing God for that uh, for his help our father and our God in the mighty name of Jesus this, um, this, this afternoon Lord we come to you king of glory because Lord we know that Lord you are the greater I am king of glory knowing you Lord is knowing hope king of glory and heavenly father lord we know that lord there is no situation that lord is beyond you king of glory Lord, you are Ebenezer in our lives, King of Glory. This far, Lord, you have brought us. This far, Lord, you have helped us, King of Glory. And Lord, even at this particular time, that Lord, we have diverse needs, King of Glory. Lord, you want to recognize that Lord, you as Lord is greatness. You as His power. You as Lord, His glory, spread, Lord, and majesty. And Lord, we know that Lord, you are able to do that which only you can do, King of Glory. This day, Jehovah God, as a congregation, Lord, we raise our hope to you, King of Glory. Because, Lord, you are our help, King of Glory. And, Lord, you are in that situation that, Lord, like was with the children of Israel. Where they told uh, Prophet Samuel that do not stop crying to the Lord uh, to save us. Lord, you know that apart from you, Lord, there is no other Savior. Lord, we pray that, Lord, in our diverse situation, Lord, uh, come through for us. Cause us, Lord, to marvel, Lord, at your great doing. We, know we, we are dependent on you, King of glory. Lord, we have heard your word. And, Lord, we, we believe that, Lord, indeed, you have spoken to us. Cause us, Lord, to continue to walk, Lord, in the revelation of your word. And that, Lord, Lord, you continue to help us to know you as our help and God who fights all our battles. Lord, help us, Lord, in our divine situation and fight all our battles, King of Glory. Them that we know and even them that do not know. All to the honor and to the praise, Lord, of your holy name. And because, Lord, you are the changer of our songs, give us new songs, songs of victory that Lord even as we begin a new king of glory we will continue to testify of your goodness because you are God and there is none like you be glorified and be exalted even as you do that which only you can do because you know that you never share glory with anyone we thank you and we exhort you in Jesus name we pray Amen. Amen. Give, give a crap offering to the Lord.